All right guys, Jeff Cedar Acres Homestead. Today I'm gonna to take you outside and we're gonna to try to count the roosters. I said in the past, I think I have around 50 roosters, but today we're gonna to find out for sure. Um, it's 10 degrees outside, so we're gonna to wanna to bundle up, go out and see what we can do with this and see if we can get a head count on just exactly how many roosters we have here. So come on along guys, let's go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, freak, eight, eight, Moses is down in there, nine, little, don't really have a name, he's just a little guy, but that's ten, and Johnny Long Pants is 11. So we got 11 roosters in this coop. And if you look at the hens, they all look very good. How's my boy doing, huh? How's my pretty boy, Pitch Black, doing? Yeah, 10 degrees out this morning. That is cold. You're ready for me to open that door, though, aren't you? You're ready for me to open that door. So what are we having here, guys? I've already lost count. Fifty does have a little bit of feather removal from the back of his head. Yeah, how's the turkeys doing, baby? How's the turkeys doing? Good morning, Dolly. So we got like 11 roosters in here. Hens, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15 or 16 hens. So yeah, that kind of blows your proportion out of the way. I'm sure we'll get some, oh! No, we got another one. There's Frank. Frank's in here. So that's probably 12 roosters. Maybe I miscounted, guys. Everybody always asks me how many roosters I got. How we doing this morning, Aztec? You sitting with your girl? Yeah. Yeah. Dad will open up the door. So we'll call it 12, guys. And how did all these roosters come up? Well, some of them were ordered off eBay. Um, and actually, Pitch Black, I got him from the center. I got seven eggs. They're going to go out. They're wanting out. I got seven eggs. And all seven hatched. I had three I am Samani roosters, and two of them I'm assuming got got by the hawks, which is said part of that. You're gonna lose one once in a while, but how you doing, Moses? I do have a couple barred rock roosters. Got a little bit of frostbite on their tip. And Moses, you'll see the top of his. He's, he's been, this is his second winter here. He was another eBay hatch. Um, he lost part of his comb. And if you're not familiar with what happens, if they do get frostbit, they will lose that part of their comb. And no, it doesn't grow back. Um, the freak there, Helen the freak, his comb looks pretty good. All right, let's go to the next coop. Nobody's gonna attack me in here? I didn't think so. You're the only one I think some days might want to, but you're a good boy, huh? You're a good boy. And it's cold, huh? Not gonna be going outside too much today, but the door's open if you want to. Peanut, what you doing, bro? What you doing, bro? Is it cold?
cool too. There's yellow legger, there's two. There's Elvis, three. Four. Red is up there, he'd be five. Six. Gray is in there, seven. Seven. Good morning, Rio. Rio is the only guinea hen we have here. She was a 4-H and that we uh, purchased there. She is pretty much a chicken now. Yes, good morning. Good morning. Elvis, your comb's got a little bit of frost on it too, buddy. Such a pretty boy too. Such a pretty boy. I am sorry. Are you gonna lay some eggs? Yeah? Uh, you notice the feathers. Not too bad at all. So, what do we have in there, seven? So that's 19 roosters. I don't think I got 50. I may have had 50. Oh, wait. Oh yeah, wait, we got some waiting to come out. Oh yeah, you already been counting. We got Tweety. So seven, eight, nine, 10. Y'all like her, you've already been counting. You just want to come out this door now, don't you, buddy? So 10. What do we have in there? 12. So that's 22 roosters, which is mostly all roosters. There are two hens that live in here. Morning. Morning, baby. Coming out. And look at your back. Look at your back. All your pretty feathers are still there. It's cold, isn't it? I don't think the boys are going to come out. You just coming out to say hi? Well, let's get a head count. Let's get a head count anyhow. This over easy chicken coop. The only one that we've purchased. And these guys were all hatched. I hatched these guys all out. Hi, buddy. So we got in there. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there's ten roosters in here with two hens. Wait. 10, 11, one went out the door. So we got 11 roosters in here. And if you could see, hi buds. There's the other one. These are the Mayan Samani mixes. They live out here. They lay two eggs, sometimes daily, sometimes every other day. Cause, but uh, yeah. Yeah, hi beautifuls. Hi, good morning. Like I said, overall, this chicken coop has been really pretty. And that's Buddy. Buddy usually goes out and goes up to the other coop and goes right on in there. And he visits during the day and comes back out here during the night. So, all right, guys. Um, so, we've got, what do we got? 22. Yeah, we'll call it 34, maybe 34 roosters here. So, yeah, there's a few. There wasn't quite 50. I've, like I said, I've lost a few to hawks and that. But uh, they tend to uh, do their thing. Pretty boys. Yeah, pretty boys. Give me a head shake. Oh, nice head shake. 
pretty boys. Oh, look at all them pretty boys. You're like, where did that 45 to 50 degree weather go we had? Look at all them head shakings. Pretty boys. Pretty boys. All right. Well, guys, we figured we got about 34, 35 roosters. Here, they all were last year's hatch, and I talked about it when we were doing the meat birds, but then, you know, just couldn't. And, yeah, I'm talking about you, and you wasn't going to get called anyhow. He is uh, definitely Samani mix, hybrid, and he is beautiful. Yes, you are beautiful. You are such a beautiful boy. But anyhow, yeah, we do call them. Um, and I guess my thoughts on that is if you got a mean rooster, you could get a different rooster. Uh, but I don't tend to have this problem. Uh, these guys, they'll spar a little bit once in a while. But and another thing is having the turkeys. I don't have video footage of it. I will get video footage of it because it happens quite often. My turkeys, if the roosters start going... Uh, if they start going at it at all, and then them turkeys around, them turkeys break it up. Um, but as far as just fighting with the roosters, no, they don't do that. But they don't like it when the roosters fight. So, we determined exactly how many roosters I got here. Not enough. Um, I do have chicks hatched out in the house, unfortunately, because it's been so cold. I'm sure there's probably a couple roosters in there. I am running an incubator. I think it's got seven days to go. And uh, my thoughts on that, I keep hearing, if it's a round egg, it's a hen. If it's a pointed egg, it's a rooster. So I put almost all round eggs in my incubator this time. So we'll see how that, uh, we'll see how that works out. But uh, yeah, I just want to do a quick video on the roosters. If you got any comments, let me know. Um, I don't use heat in the chicken coops. Uh, and unfortunately, I do get a little bit of that frostbite on there. I know people say to put Vaseline on it. Put cayenne pepper in your feed. Um, tried all that. I think it depends on basically the breed. Um, is kind of what I'm thinking. But, I mean, it does die off. It's got to be kind of painful. I understand that. But they all all seem to be happy. Big thing is the water. I don't, I do not water my birds in the coops. I don't put water in the coops right now because I think it just makes it worse. With the birds being in there, I water them outside. But I know the roosters, when they're waddles or whatever, hang in the water. That tends to get them a little bit too. Um, and they're outside. I mean, the doors open. They come and go. Uh, as you can see, there's a few of them outside. Of course, we run the tractor down through here to make the path. But yeah, they're coming out. And there's the referees right there. But yeah, they come out and they go back in. All right, guys. Don't forget to leave your comments and that down there. And don't forget to like and subscribe, please.